So there's three kinds of yeast in this world. Compressed fresh yeast, which is something that nobody can find in any grocery store on the planet. It's something that uh, commercial bakers use and we don't even mess with that stuff. Uh, for the home use, we have two kinds. We have uh, active dry yeast, and we also have instant yeast, which is probably the most common form of yeast that we uh, use, that we buy at the grocery store. So they all work the same exact way. Okay, we're gonna cut, we're gonna cut half this crap out anyway, so don't even worry. Anyway, <laughs> the second kind is active dry yeast. Now this yeast, you have to hydrate before you add it to your uh, bread products. The third kind is instant yeast, which you just mix right into your bread product and it comes out perfectly. So the kind that we're using today is active dry yeast. We have to hydrate that in order for it to uh, be active. And think of this bag as a colony of, of sleeping, you know, warriors that are, you know, they've been laying dormant for so long and as soon as you introduce them to uh, warm water, they become alive. They're a single cell organism, so we have to treat them that way. They need love, guys. So, <laughs> we don't introduce any salt to this yeast because if we do, that means that our tribe is gonna die and we're not gonna have any, you know, bubbles for a rise. So, the way that yeast works is once we hydrate it, it becomes alive, and then we mix it in with our flour, and that is its food. So it comes alive and it starts feasting on all those carbohydrates. And with feasting, of course, comes gas. It's Thanksgiving, they're having a feast. So the uh, yeast actually lets out gas and that's what gives um, our bread rise. We create a beautiful web of gluten by kneading our dough really firmly and that traps the gas in and will give our bread rise. And that's how yeast works.